U.S. equities tried to make the most of the bad ADP employment read, pushing stocks up a bit on the implication that this would further solidify a dovish Fed outlook. But the rally wasn't all that meaningful, and ultimately stocks could not extend to fresh record highs beyond the Tuesday peak. Perhaps sometimes bad news is just bad news, and trying to spin it into a positive around a delayed taper just isn't as exciting, especially when you have things like rising inflation in the backdrop. This was the major story on Wednesday, and this now sets the stage for Friday with the monthly employment report due. Things do get a little more complicated with trading desks lightening up for the final days of summer. But one thing's for sure, financial markets will be in big trouble if they can no longer rally on bad news. And well, Bad news is actually doing what one intuitively would think it should be doing. As far as currencies go, any further weakness in stocks could very well invite a resurgence in broad-based U.S. dollar demand. Key standouts on Thursday's calendar come in the form of Aussie trade, Eurozone producer prices, Canada trade and building permits, and U.S. data featuring jobless claims and factory orders. That's all for now.